what it takes. I'm putting a new face on the old one. Ready for anything. Playing with fate, not a moment too late. Showing the whole world nothing can get me down. Ooh, ooh. Give me a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a break. Cause I show me why. Give me a break. Yeah, yeah. I finally know where I belong. Morning, Gertrude. Breakfast. Seaweed over easy. Hey, eat it. Eat it. Get yourself in bed and eat it. Whoa. Hey, Grandpapa, wake up and go to sleep. If you're this tired, why don't you just go upstairs and go to bed? Oh, no, no, no. As soon as my head hits the pillow, I'll get another phone call from that crank. Did he call again? 3.30 this morning. Yeah, and what do you think he said? Gio, would you was? What does that mean? In Polish, that means, did I wake you up? At 3 in the morning? Uh, oh, honey, don't worry. I'll get the phone changed and we'll never hear from that nut again. Are you sure this is house? This is the house. <laughs> You're sure this is house? Yes, Papa, I am sure this is house. Then put smile on your face. I am smiling. The daughter talks to her father that way. You have no respect. No respect. That's the trouble with you young kids. <laughs> Papa, what? please, let's go back to the hotel. After what that man did to you? Papa, you're 94 years old. Don't you ever get tired? Never. Hate keeps me going. <laughs> well, a shrimp cocktail would keep me going. Mm -hmm. Papa, I helped you find a house. Now, I want to go back to the hotel. I want to go back to the hotel! <laughs> All right, go. 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 Go, go! Drive me crazy! That's what you do to drive me crazy! I... What is all this shouting about? Uh... Why shouldn't I shout? It is gorgeous day. I see beautiful woman like you. What else to do but shout? <laughs> it is gorgeous day. <laughs> She's beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you for asking me to come in. Thank you very much. Wait a minute. Just who are you and what are you doing in my living room? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Leopold Jablonski. I, uh, I'm looking for Stanley Kaniski. I, I was the gentleman that called earlier. Oh, I wouldn't call that earlier. Three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> no, I, I'm going upstairs to take a nap. And if that nut calls again, tell him I died. Who's this? That nut. <laughs> Grandpapa, I'd like you to meet Leopold Jablonski. Leopold, this is the late Stanley Kaniski. <laughs> How do you do? I bring greetings. I bring for you a Polish pickle from Plonsk. A, a pickle from Plonsk? Yes, a pickle from Plonsk. <laughs> <laughs> you can't wait, can you? No. Here it is, a Polish pickle from Plonsk. Uh, you are, are you from Plonsk? No, Omaha. <laughs> Uh, most of the original Jablonskis were original Plantsniks. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a pickle from Plansk since I left Pluck. And they say black people talk funny. You yeah, know, I can taste that pickle already. Grandpapa, this is the man that's been waking you up in the middle of the night. Are you going to forget that for a piece of pickle? Just a minute. You are not talking to some peasant from Plansk. I'm aristocrat. Pro fiat me yet nascora ole yele koski. Ah! <laughs> 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 
but I just said in Polish that means a pig only has one skin but many knuckles. We say that all the time in Alabama. Really? Mm-hmm. And then we eat the pig. <laughs> Sorry. We didn't know we had company. Uh, Leopold, allow me to present my granddaughters, Katie, Julie, and Samantha. Perfect Polish names. <laughs> and uh, we already met Nell Harper. Nell is uh, in charge of our family. Oh, she's in charge of the family. Well, good. And you, you, uh, uh, what about your wife? I am a widower. A widower? <laughs> That's terrible tragedy. <laughs> Look, I suggest you all sit around couch here, take seat. The girls here, Bushke, Bushke, Pachke, and Fatsch, whatever. <laughs> sit down, and I will explain and tell you what this is all about. Is this going to be in English or in Polish? Not sure. Half and half. <laughs> sit down. Now, let me see how I should start. Let me see. America has been very good to me. And I might add that I have been very good to America. My taxes alone. <laughs> anyway, one morning I woke up, it struck me that I should sit down and write my memoirs. But uh, having no family, I didn't know what to do, so here is what I figured to do to interview the people that came over with me on the boat originally from Poland. <laughs> Hold my hand, dear. This is going to get very emotional. Just how old are you? 94. Well, in that case, you get as emotional as you want. <laughs> it could be his last emotion. Uh, but pardon me, I want to ask you something. Are you the Stanley Kaninsky that came over on the steamship Krakow in May of uh, 1924? I am indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh, how could I ever forget that trip? When we first saw at nightfall the light shining from the Statue of Liberty, glorious. Oh, what a night that was. We had singing, dancing. <laughs> we... You did more than dancing that night. You little Pascuniak, you. <laughs> How about the hanky-panky? Oh, no, no, I don't think we should talk about that now. I'm... You ain't getting off this boat till you do. <laughs> well, well, you see, there was this... this lovely girl sitting on deck in the moonlight. Not a word passed between us, but that night was pure magic. Forget the magic. Get to the nitty-gritty. Come on. Well, if you must know, the nitty was very gritty. <laughs> oh, to think that was 60 years ago. Oh, she was so beautiful, so young. Oh, this is so romantic. How young was she? Fifteen. Fifteen? Fifteen? I'm fifteen. I love this story, Grandpa. It's so earthy. <laughs> Well, things weren't the same back then. A girl at 15 was a woman. They worked in the fields. They were big, they were strong. When a girl gave you a hug, you took your life in your hands. Uh, girls, I think it's time you got off the boat and went in the kitchen. Oh, come on, now. I want you to fix some sandwiches for our guests. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, okay. But we've got a lot to talk about later, Grandpa. Fifteen. Wow, I'm a woman. Stanley, I'm a little curious. This girl that you had this brief encounter with, did you ever see her again? Well, I tried, but when we landed on Ellis Island, we got separated, you see. Oh, separated. Well, uh, Mr. Kiniski, can you tell me if you remember if her name was Katrina? Katrina? Yes, Katrina. How did you know? I'm Katrina's father. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't have any family. <laughs> I lied. What about your memoirs? 
also a lie. And interviewing all those people? Boy, was that a lie. But why do you lie about everything? I'm good at it. Now forget about the lies. Let's talk about the truth. You, Stanley Kaniski. You. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, help me. You're, you're not strong either, huh? Yes, I got it. I am up, Stanley Kaniski. There is going to be a wedding. You are going to take my daughter's hand in marriage. Whoa. What do you mean, whoa? Now, wait a minute, Leopold. Grandpapa's not going to marry a woman he hasn't seen in over 60 years. You can just forget about a wedding. Hey. I'll call the caterer. <laughs> that gun it might go off katrina my daughter innocent girl she was it's all your fault you dirty old man but that was over 60 years ago he was only 20. you're supposed to be dirty at 20. <laughs> please what? stop pointing that gun and let's talk mr jablonski no leopold no leo <laughs> Leo, only my dear departed wife called me Leo, and I hated her. Please, wait, just give me the gun. You don't want to hurt anybody. If I give you gun, will he promise to marry my daughter? Yes. All right. Take gun. You'll be beginning to... Hurt my finger anyway. Come on, come on. What do you want? Just, just sit down, sit down, come on, sit down. Sit down and let's talk. What's the talk? There's going to be a wedding. No, there isn't. I lied. <laughs> you mean you don't want him to marry into a business that does $30 million a year? $30 million? Another lie. <laughs> Do you, do you, do you, you're strong, you're strong. Don't call me liar. Don't call, don't call Jablonski liar, not me. Not the Prince of Pickles. You're that Jablonski? Listen, Leopold, Stanley Kaniski is not for sale, right, Grandpapa? Absolutely. Does, uh... Does your daughter still have that cute little way of tossing her hair back? Not quite. <laughs> she has a bit of arthritis. <laughs> but on a warm day... Oh, forget it. Wait, wait, wait. Papa, I don't like what you're thinking. Don't you worry what he's thinking. If I take you into my business, you are partners of my business. But you've got to start from the bottom of the pickle barrel. <laughs> Well, that's funny. <laughs> Start from the bottom of the pickle barrel. You get it? The pickle barrel. <laughs> I don't know. The boys at the plant love it. I love it too, Dad. Let me see you in the kitchen. You know, this whole idea of going into the pickle business excites me. It just smells right. Get in the kitchen. Grandpa, you've always been a man that I respect. How can you even think of selling that great Kniski pride? The price is right, Nell. <laughs> Listen, I have had shrimp cocktails in the finest hotels in this country. Now, I know a shrimp cocktail when I see one. Hello? What, four little bitty shrimp? You call that a shrimp cocktail? Well, I say either this is one chinchy establishment or else your waiter knocked off a couple on the way up. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Do I know you? No, but you will. I'm your maid of honor. <laughs> My maid of honor? Oh. You are Katrina, aren't you? 
Yeah. Oh, that's good. I'm Nell Hopper. I came to talk to you about Stanley Kaniski. Oh, don't tell me Papa finally found the right one. I'm afraid so. And there's something I have to tell you about Stanley Kaniski. Oh, what is it? He's gay. <laughs> At our age, what's the difference? I lied. Oh, I thought so, because Stanley loved women. Oh, all the girls on the ship were crazy about his flashing eyes. But I was the only one he flashed at. <laughs> oh, well, now he wears bifocals over those flashing eyes, and they flash in two different directions. <laughs> Katrina, honey, you don't want to marry Stanley. No, I don't. You don't? Oh, no, I don't want this marriage any more than Stanley does. Good, now let's go tell your father. Well, it would do no good. You see, I'm afraid my papa has this crazy sense about family honor. All the Jablonskis have it. Even my papa's papa still has it. Your papa is 94. Mm -hmm. Your papa's papa is still alive? Mm -hmm. People say it's something in the pickles. <laughs> uh, Katrina, listen. We've got to talk your father out of this. No, I can't. I can't. I'm scared of Papa. Look, don't let him push you around. You're over 21. Oh. You're over 71. <laughs> it makes no difference. My Papa has always treated me like his little girl. He still calls me his little dumpling, can you imagine? He spoils me like I was a baby. Then why don't you stand up to him? I like it. <laughs> You're gonna go back to the house with me and you're gonna stand up to your father and tell him this wedding is off. I would really love to, but you see, I tried standing up to my father once on my 70th birthday and, oh, it was awful. What did he do? He sent me to bed without my shrimp cocktail. <laughs> Katrina, put your life in my hands, okay? All right, because I'm really tired of it being in Papa's. Okay, let's go. Katrina, cut it out. Come on. You're going to be okay. Hey, you're going to okay. stand up to him. Stand up, my father. And you're going to be strong. No, I changed my mind. You changed. No, I don't want to. You're good. Good. I want this to be the best, most beautiful Polish wedding. Right. Now, for entertainment, I want, I want an accordion player at every table. <laughs> yeah. And then for the... Oh, oh, I'll call you back. Katrina, my dumpling. Leopold, the wedding is off. Your dumpling's a woman that can make her own decision. Go tell him, Katrina. Papa? Go back to the hotel immediately. Yes, Papa. Don't you let him push you around. You stand here, don't you move. Yes, Nell. Well, all settled. After the wedding, we'll honeymoon on my yacht and then tool around the Greek Isles. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> That's the lady you're going to be tooling around with. <laughs> Katrina. Katrina, why, you're just as I remembered you. She still has her own upper teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I think... Katrina, my love, I can still see you sitting there in the moonlight with that yellow babushka around your head. It was blue when we were standing. <gasps> ah, yes. I remember so well. <laughs> you were a vision sitting there in the moonlight. The fog was thick as pea soup. Oh, yes. I remember so well. <laughs> Enough of the memories. Let's get on with the wedding. But one moment I'll never forget. Our first kiss. When I took you in my arms. Ah, yes. And I ran my fingers through your curly red hair. Ah, yes. I remember so well. <laughs> Wait a minute, Grandpapa. I've seen your old pictures. You had straight hair, and you were a blonde. I was. Wait a minute. There is something strange about this. Grandpapa, are you sure this is the lady you met on the boat? There were at least six Stanley Kanishkis on board. But I'm the right guy. Is your middle name Stashu? Yes. It is not. It could have been. <laughs> Enough, enough with this nonsense. Sign any name you want on the certificate. But Papa... Says, shut up, Dumpling. But Papa... I said shut up. Dumpling, shut up! Don't! 
call me dumping. I'm not a dumpling. And you are not going to force me to marry someone I didn't even know 60 years ago. Now, that's the way to talk to Will a you father. shut up? <laughs> well, while I'm at it, I might as well tell you, for the last 30 years, I have been having an affair. Uh -oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> be all right. Well, your grandfather hears about this. <laughs> again, again, Katrina, the wrong Stanley Kaninsky. Yes, Papa. Stanley, I apologize if I've caused you any inconvenience. I'll marry her anyway. <laughs> I'll even give her a child if she wants one. <laughs> Take one of these. For $30 million, I'll go. Get out of here. For 15, get, get out, out of here. Four, get out of here. Grandpapa, it's over. O B E R. You are not marrying Katrina. You are out of the pickle business. You know what, Papa? I'll introduce you to my sweetie. <laughs> Finally, we may have a beautiful Polish wedding. Papa, uh. his name is Giuseppe Bellini. <laughs> Giuseppe Bellini? That don't sound too Polish. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> Pickles and pizza. <laughs> well, they may come in handy in case you get pregnant. <laughs> oh, I want to thank you. You're the one person who gave my daughter the courage to stand up to her father. And I admire you for that. Why, thank you. <laughs> That's the biggest lie of them all. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's bigger than big. <laughs> In fact, it's my personal best. That night on the ship, I was wearing a yellow babushka. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember so well. You and your flashing eyes. <laughs> oh, Grandpapa. So it really was her. It was so long ago. Who remembers? 